Jeremy, thank you. Baseball season is in full swing, and one person who's had a front row seat for a very long time is Steve Fiziak. You can catch the WIBW TV alum and now retired voice of the Royals at the Topeka and Shawnee County Public Library later tonight. But first, he is here with us, and we welcome you. Welcome home, we could say, WIBW. Yes, four years here, back 1979 through 1983. I was the voice of the Wildcats and also did the local high school games, Topeka High, Washburn Rural, Highland Park, and just had a blast here for four years. And now I'm excited to talk about the Negro Leagues Baseball Museum at the Topeka Public Library tonight. You spent how many years doing games for the Royals? 11 years with the Royals, 35 doing Major League Baseball, started in Cincinnati doing the Reds, and then when I went out to the Bay Area, I did the Giants, then joined ESPN for seven years, and then Fox Sports Net did the Angels games out there, and then came home in 2012. And I was delighted to be part of our 14 and 15 World Series teams and won it all, of course, mm -hmm. in 2015. So some great memories, and that's why here I am at the age of 68 looking back going, I'm all finished. I can do <laughs> well, something else. Opening day this year, you posted a photo with your granddaughters. Yes. A very different view for you on opening day. How surreal was it? How different has this season been for you? Have you even been paying attention? I really have not as much as I should. The Royals have asked me to do four games next week with the Minnesota series, which I'm going to do. So I need to keep up to date with baseball and the new <laughs> rules and the new regulations. But you're right. My passion now is different. And with three granddaughters, I was telling you about ages 12, 10, and 7, and they all live in Michigan. This gives me now an opportunity to see them whenever my wife and I want to. And that um, there was no bittersweet memories. It was all sweet because I was with three of the little girls I love so much. Well, your new passion that you found, in addition to the grandchildren, mm -hmm. is writing. And that's actually something you were doing even as your broadcasting career was winding down. We've got... The new book here, you've actually, you're actually on book number five you're writing right now? Yes, it's part of the, the Luca series. The first book I ever wrote was The Walls of Luca, and that was inspired by a dream when my wife and I were uh, vacationing in Italy uh, in 2006. And The Walls of Luca and Above the Walls were the result of that, and both won awards. Um, the Walls of Luca won the 2018 award for best historical fiction by Reader's Favorite, and I was uh, lucky that Above the Walls won the award in 2019. And then I also wrote Walks with the Wind and the sequel Catching the Wind, which is a baseball adventure. So I think people who enjoy my baseball style, my baseball history, will enjoy Walks with the Wind. And uh, interestingly enough, Walks with the Wind won the Writer's Digest Award for their book of the year last year in 2021, as a matter of fact. Fantastic, when does the new book come out? Well, I'm about three quarters of the way finished and it is the third in the Luca series, different protagonists, but um, some of the characters who were the protagonists in the walls of Luke and Above the Wall will make minor appearances, but there was just so much I found out about the oppression of women in fascist Italy um, during the rise of Mussolini, and also some of the spiritual elements of the culture. And so when I had time off, retired. I went back to Italy, did some research for a week in the Sergio Valley and the Farnetta Monastery, and I've been writing like every single day of the week. Fascinating. So you're three, not really quarters. retired. Well, tonight, no. and, and along the way, you also wrote a children's book about baseball with Rex mm -hmm. Hudler as well, but tonight you're speaking as part of the Shades of Greatness exhibit. It's at the Topeka and Shawnee County Library, 6.30 p.m. in the Learning Center. Head on over there to hear. I'm interested, final thoughts. You know, Shades of Greatness is about the Negro Leagues. When you think about what makes players great today, what is it? What is that element? Well, I always think it's fighting through adversity. And particularly with baseball, there's no sport that is more a greater example of what do you do when you fail? How do you continue to have success? The Royals have started terribly this year, 4-15, and 15, and they have to find the resolve within themselves to grow, to evolve, to get better. And uh, I saw that in 2014, where the elements of 2012-13 led to 14-15, and 15, but it was a, a lot about learning how to fail. And that's the thing that I love so much about going to the Negro Leagues Baseball Museum and talking about it tonight because that's all about adversity. When you have players like Josh Gibson, Satchel Paige, Cool Papa Bell, Jackie Robinson, some of the greatest athletes in the history of our game, unable to play 
Major League Baseball because of her restrictions. And finally, Jackie broke the color barrier in 1947. And uh, all of those guys, you know, uh, I wish I could have seen them play. Well, we can hear you talk about all of that I will. tonight at the Topeka and Shawnee County Public Library. Steve, always great to catch up. Thank all you very much. To you. Well, we are going to find out a little bit more about an upcoming event to support kids in the Manhattan area. It's for their Boys and Girls Club, and the details are next.